Hello and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the notification about my new tutorials. So today we look at how we will install Kaspersky Network Agent and Kaspersky Endpoint Security for um, any machine which doesn't have it already. First thing what you need to know about that is which version you are going to install. In my case, I am running Kaspersky Security Center 13.1 over here and uh, if I look at remote installation, what I have available with me for installation packages, I have these uh, with me where I have Kaspersky Endpoint Agent 3.11 I have Kaspersky Security Center 13.11 Network Agent and I have Kaspersky Endpoint Security for Windows 11.1 seven zero over here with strong encryption 256 encryption and uh, this I'm going to install on the machine which is available in my network which is called laptop zero one um, of course there are certain prerequisites to install this remotely you can find it on Kaspersky website and uh, I'll try to put the link in my description also so that you know what are the prerequisites in terms of installing Kaspersky Endpoint Security um, Agent and Kaspersky Endpoint Security so basically what we are going to do is uh, we are going to click on this particular machine I can right click also or the other way I have is I can simply click on perform action over here and I can move it to group first of all or I can say install application I can install updates and so on and so forth so what I normally do is rather than I go and click one by one there is a possibility that there are certain machines which might get discovered uh, time to time and I'm just deploying it for the very first time uh, so what I can do in that case is I can go to workstation for example over here and under workstation I have tasks okay and I can create a task over here right and when I'm saying uh, create a task what I can do is I can say I would like to install Kaspersky endpoint security for Windows over here right so I'll create a task for this particular uh, particular application to be installed so I'll go over here Kaspersky uh, security center administration server and I'll say install application remotely and click next over here now over here it will ask me which one would you like to install deploy Kaspersky Security Center 13.1 package or deploy Azure public extension in my case I'm going to go with deploy Kaspersky Security Center 13.1 package I'm going to click on next and from here I need to choose which package I would like to deploy in my case I'm going to go with Kaspersky Endpoint Security for Windows 11.7 over here okay and moving forward it will ask me whether you would like to install network agent uh, together with this application or not because I do not have network agent already I am going to install network agent also and I am going to click on next and it will ask me whether you would like to force installation package download using network agent or using operating system resources through administration server I will keep both of them over there because if a network agent is not there then it will use operating system resources um, through administration server I normally keep it checked do not reinstall application if it is already installed because there is no point of installing same application it is already there so if you have Kaspersky endpoint security or you have Kaspersky uh, security center agent it will ignore those things and then moving forward when I go next next part is uh, if I would like to restart the machine or I would like to give that option to uh, my basically uh, end user who is working on that machine to install re restart the uh, restart the machine or not I can choose those options from here and then repeat prompt and restart after this much time and I'm going to click on next over here um, if you already have network agent installed you don't need to uh, provide account but because I do not have network agent installed over here I'm going to click on account required over here so that network agent should also be installed I'll click on add and I'll just provide my 
credentials over here okay going to click on ok and next over here now over here how would I like to run this task immediately once a week or I would like to run it um, once for example or there are certain other options also so what I am going to do over here is I'm going to click on run once okay and I can say run miss tasks keep it whatever time over here as I said that you have option to run manually immediately and things like that right so I'll keep it once and I'll keep it run miss task use automatic randomized delay for task if there are more than one machines uh, falling under this category it will uh, not start task on all the machine at one time and I'm going to click on next over here and I'll name this particular task and I'm going to say it install KS 11.7 and KSA which is Kaspersky Security Center agent and I'm going to click on next and I can say run the task after the visit finishes and I'll click on finish so my task will be created on this particular group over here which is my workstation group okay um, as soon as my task is created what I'm going to do is I'll just go to that particular group which is there for my IP range where we have got the discovery and I'm going to move that machine over here okay okay I'm going to click on this particular group which is my discovery and I'm going to move this machine to my workstation group okay and there the task is waiting to be executed for any newly appearing machine over here let's click on it and you see scheduled on one device over here we can view over here which device it is applicable on and what it is going to do is in some time it will start and trigger this task over here on this particular machine you don't need to do anything once this task is scheduled to be run to run on this particular machine and you see now it uh, it has started automatically without doing anything of course it would take its own time uh, for first it will do um, copy the files so what it does normally it access admin dollar um, shared folder and then it just starts copying your network agent and Kaspersky endpoint security and then it will just trigger the installation over there and you can see the status of your task appearing over here furthermore if you would like you can just click on view results and you can see the status what's going on over there right yeah so your task is running and your network agent installation is going on over there so if you see over here it says Kaspersky security center 13.1 network agent 13.1.0.8324 uh, remote installation has completed successfully on this device the next part would be to install your endpoint security and you see now it has started copying the file for Kaspersky endpoint security also which you can also view from here what's going on I'm going to pause this recording over here 
and we'll resume once this installation is about to complete or completed as you can see that my copying is finished and setup has started so right now the installation is going on for Kaspersky endpoint security for Windows 11.7 which is the latest version till date so as this installation is going on I would like to show you one more thing if we go to laptop 01 over here and log in in fact I should have shown this to you earlier but uh, it's not too late even you will only see that Kaspersky endpoint uh, security is not there and only Kaspersky security center network agent is available and if you even go and task manager over here in details you will see some kind of installation is going on over here right so this is for Kaspersky and point security on this particular machine and if you go back over here we'll be able to see what's going on so normally it takes somewhere around five to ten minutes but of course it depends on resources on the network and some other factors of course but normally it takes little time because of course it has to install all the features and the components which we have selected you do have option to customize what you would like to install on the target machine um, but I'm not good so normally it takes like five to ten minutes to install it but of course it would depend on your bandwidth network and also it would depend on the resources on the target machine um, and depending what package you are installing you have possibility to customize what you would like to install on the target machine maybe you do not want to install certain features uh, you can customize the remote installation package um, I'm not going to discuss that in this tutorial but of course there's a possibility to do that and uh, if you would like maybe you can comment and then we can talk about how to customize and reduce uh, the feature set which is going to get installed on the target machines so as you can see that the installation is successfully completed on device one of course we pushed it to one device itself I can click on view result and you can see that it has completed successfully over here moreover if I go to laptop 01 over here you can see that Kaspersky endpoint security for Windows 11.7 has successfully installed and if I go to control panel in sometimes this app is create issues let's go over here and if I go over here I can show you that both are there and last thing which we can verify is bad we can go to services.msc and you can see that Kaspersky services are running over here and final thing which I would like to show you is if you go to device tab over here you can see that real-time protection and network agent is running on this machine thank you so much for watching this walkthrough please use the comment section below to let me know if this solves your problem or this is what you are looking for and to discuss more about any of the technologies which I'm talking about thank you and stay blessed